If you've ever struggled to get seeds to germinate, I have a tip for you. My fall seeds are coming in, and while it may seem a little strange to be planting seeds in the fall in Colorado, it actually makes perfect sense and it makes things a lot easier for me. There are lots of seeds that we tend to plant that need something called cold stratification. And if you don't get cold stratification right, you might as well just throw your seeds away, honestly. So what's cold stratification? Cold stratification is essentially an evolutionary timer. Some seeds evolve with a thicker coating around them, which requires moisture, cold, or a combination of moisture and cold in order to allow the seed to germinate. If those seeds germinated right away, those seedlings would probably be killed by winter. Cold stratification, this tool, allows those seeds to sit in the seed bed over the winter and emerge at the right time in the spring. This is particularly true for plants that have evolved closer to the poles. And in North America, it's especially true for wildflowers and North American native plants. They need this period of dormancy in the seed bed before their seeds will germinate. However, for gardeners, this can be a little bit frustrating. That's because we are accustomed to growing vegetables, for example. A lot of the things that we eat as vegetables and herbs and that we tend to grow evolved either in the Mediterranean or in tropical regions around the world. In that case, those seeds never evolved to have a cold stratification strategy because those climates are much more temperate and it doesn't matter as much when those seeds germinate. Okay, so then let's think about bulbs. If you're ordering bulbs for Minnesota, you order them in the fall, you put them in the ground, and they come up in the spring. If you're ordering tulips for Texas, you have to order pre-chilled bulbs and then you put them in the ground in the spring. The reason behind this is because Texas winters are not cold enough and so you buy pre-chilled bulbs, that's where the grower is simulating cold stratification for you and then shipping them to you you put them in the ground and they come up, but they have already gone through the cold stratification process in somebody's cooler. So as gardeners, we have two choices. We can either use mother nature or we can simulate cold stratification. And as a gardener, I tend to use mother nature more than simulation. I live in zone five here in Colorado. And so if I'm going to plant out seeds in the fall and I do a lot of fall seed planting, I am fairly sure that they are going to get a good combination of moisture, largely snow, and cold, and we certainly get cold here, that will allow them to germinate in the spring. So I use Mother Nature and do a lot of fall seed planting as a result. So let's take, for example, Rudbeckia. I love Rudbeckia in my garden. It's a North American native plant. There are several varieties of Rudbeckia that you can plant, but many Rudbeckia seeds need cold stratification and not just a little, they need three months of cold stratification or even more. So I feel like leaving seeds in my refrigerator for three months is a big gamble because I'm not gonna remember to make sure that they're moist enough and my family might throw them away. So I feel like leaving them outside is a better choice for my garden. However, some gardeners want more control. And if that's the case, you can simulate cold stratification too. Simulating cold stratification generally means putting seeds in the refrigerator or in the freezer, and it depends on which kind of seed you're planting for a defined period of time. So let's use milkweed as an example. Milkweed is the host plant for monarch butterflies. It's a really important plant to be using in our garden but milkweed seeds need cold stratification to germinate. To simulate cold stratification, you can take milkweed seeds, put them in a little bit of potty mix, put them in a plastic bag with some moisture and keep them in your refrigerator for six to eight weeks. 
you should check every week or so and make sure that they haven't dried out. And if they have, then add a little bit of moisture. And then at the end of that six to eight week period, you can then plant out those seeds. You time it with your last frost date and you'll get it right and you should get plants. You can even put them in seed trays and keep the seed trays in your refrigerator as well. That's another way to achieve cold stratification for milkweed. When you are planting seeds out, if the seed packet, for example, says it needs to be planted three weeks before your last frost date, that is a bare minimum. And that minimum may not be applicable if you are having a particularly warm or particularly dry spring. So that's something to keep in mind when you are letting mother nature take its course, which is part of why I do so much seeding in the fall, because then I know that those seeds are going to get a better shot at germination than if I wait until the last minute in the spring. So as you're planning your garden, make sure that you are taking into account that cold stratification time and whether you're going to let mother nature take its course or you are going to simulate it you need to plan for that in order to get the best germination rate and get those plants going as quickly as possible if you have questions about cold stratification or seeds drop them in the comments below I will happily answer them hit that like and subscribe and stick around for more gardening tips Happy gardening.